Toby Alderville will make sure that he, he could provide tablets for the people at the end hospitals that they cannot have contact with their families. Even Kevin De Bruyne has been very active. Thibaut Courtois and Eden Hazard in Madrid, Luis Mertens in Italy, Romero Lukaku, Timothy Castan, the footballers are one of the best in the history of our football. But the quality that they have as human beings is clearly seen now in this period, and I couldn't be prouder of them. Hello there. Hi, Mr. Roberto Martinez. How are you? Uh, under the circumstances, we're really well. We yeah. help and we're trying to keep sane. How are you trying to pass some time? Every family has two, two aspects to consider. One is to keep safe. Everyone has a concern in someone that is close to you that has got an older age or is in a group of risk. And yeah. I think when we put that aside, it becomes an opportunity. Life stops and allows you to go into your own pace, that moment that you can have with the family, being able to read the book, being able to share little things that you cannot do in our 100 miles an hour life that we all have. Uh, I've got a six years old daughter and an eight month daughter and being with them and being able to see them grow is something that you cannot do when you are working in an office uh, really early from nine till till five. And, and those are the little uh, elements that you all of a sudden you you realize that uh, this is important that we can we can take into our our way of living life after the big pandemic virus. Normally we would be uh, in full preparation right now for the European Championships. Where would we stand with our team? Do you think? Well, one thing is is clear is that we had a very very good preparation for the for the Euros. Uh, we had two years that uh, I felt the team grew. Uh, we got more competitive, and I think we were mm -hmm. ready mentally and physically for the big tournament. Mm -hmm. What our intention is is that we can even get there stronger than where we were in the summer. Yeah. Most important question. Will it be with uh, Roberto Martinez as our coach? It's not about the coach. Uh, what I can promise mm -hmm. every fan is that. The, the work that I'm doing is thinking that I'm going to be here for the next 50 years. I'm trying to put things in plan that I, I hope that Belgian football can benefit and the development of young players can benefit. My contract finishes on the 30th of June, as when it's been quite uh, openly and, and, and public. And we don't know at the moment in this situation. We had some conversations with, uh, with the Federation. They've been positive. And we'll see uh, what happens at the end of this uh, difficult period. But I can assure every single Red Devil fan that uh, all the work that we're doing is to get uh, the national team in a very good position uh, with or without the coaches. So that's important. The situation with the confinement in your home country is very bad. How do you keep in touch with your relatives over there and how do you try to convince them to not give up hope? In our case, uh, my mom and dad, they just isolated. Uh, we got a plan to be able to give them the, the nutrients and the, everything that they need without leaving the apartment. Um, I speak with them on a daily basis. They know we'll, we'll survive, we'll get through this period. Yeah, what's the advice? Keep watching football? My dad, yeah. My mom, I don't think she would, no. I mean, <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Yeah, it's been a pleasure and keep yourselves sane and safety during this period. But as a nation, we'll be stronger after this, I'm sure. Show up.